we all know that the fossil fuels are limited many countries like india spends huge amount of money importing crude oil from the middle east also burning of fossil fuel leads to environmental pollution and increases global warming in order to reduce the dependency on other countries and reduce the environmental pollution efforts are made to utilize alternate power solar power wind power and biofuel are some of the promising alternatives to fossil fuels Hello and welcome back to a new video of Explore Bio. In today's video, I will talk about bioethanol. What it is, what is the raw material from which biofuel can be produced, how bioethanol is useful, what is the principle behind bioethanol production, basic steps involved in its synthesis. I will also discuss some of the major challenges and possible solutions. So watch the video till the end. Bioethanol is actually ethanol. The cellulose-rich biomass obtained from plants or agricultural waste is first hydrolyzed into soluble sugars such as glucose which is later being fermented by microbes like yeast to produce ethanol which is termed as bioethanol. Biomass rich in cellulose obtained from sugarcane, maize, rice straw, bamboo or other such crops and algae are preferably used as raw material for bioethanol production. Agricultural waste and industrial remains of plant waste can also be used to produce bioethanol. But why bioethanol? Bioethanol can either be directly used as fuel or it can be blended with petrol to power the vehicles and industries. It has high octane number and burns almost completely, liberating carbon dioxide and water, minimizing the air pollution. Bioethanol can also be used in paint industries, developing drugs and others. At one hand, it reduces the utilization of crude oil or fossil fuels. On the other hand, bioethanol produced indigenously will reduce dependence on other countries. It can also minimize the incidences of agricultural waste burning. Rather, the waste can be utilized to produce more valuable products. This would also add to the farmer's income. For today's video, I will take an example of bioethanol production from bamboos. But why bamboos? Bamboos are one of the fastest growing plants that can grow in low water and nutritional soils. They show more tolerance to heat, drought and diseases. Compared to other plants, they need lesser care. Further, you can have very high biomass yield per acre of land from bamboos. Now let's have a deeper look at the basic steps involved in the bioethanol production from bamboos. The first step is milling of bamboo to find particles to increase its surface area and facilitate further processing. Next step is pretreatment. As the bamboos have lignin which interferes with enzymatic reactions during hydrolysis and fermentation, it needs to be removed. For this, the milled bamboo biomass is given a pretreatment during which it is exposed to a solution of dilute alkali like sodium hydroxide at a high temperature of about 100 to 180 degrees for few minutes to few hours with continuous mixing. Following pretreatment, acid like sulfuric acid is added to neutralize the alkali. This is important as enzymes involved in cellulose degradation and fermentation works at their optimal pH which needs to be adjusted by adding the acid. The pretreatment can also be done with modified alkaline hydrogen peroxide method with different conditions. The third step is hydrolysis or sacrification, which takes about two days. In this step, the pretreated biomass, which comprises mainly of polymeric cellulose, is broken down to simple sugars like glucose by cellulose enzyme. This is followed by fermentation. Glucose produced in the above step is used by yeast like Saccharomyces cerevisiae to produce ethanol by fermentation, which occurs in the absence of oxygen. The final step is obtaining pure ethanol from the mixture. This is done by distillation. During distillation, ethanol is heated up to evaporate first from the mixture and condensed to a separate container. About 100 to 150 liters of bioethanol can be produced using 1 ton of bamboo. Coming on to the major challenges in bioethanol production and utilization as biofuel. The first challenge is processing and production cost. The raw material needs to be milled, pre-treated and distilled. All these steps need high energy which increases the production cost of bioethanol. 
modification of pretreatment process which would require lower temperature or at least reduce the duration of the treatment might reduce the production cost of biothanol. Simultaneous hydrolysis and fermentation by yeast can reduce the operation time but that would require a thermotolerant strain of yeast that could survive end to fermentation at about 50 degrees. Another issue is that the currently available vehicles in India and some other countries can run by blending bioethanol up to 10 or maximum 20%. If higher percentage of bioethanol or pure bioethanol is to be used, the engines of the vehicles need to be modified. The flex fuel engines are such engines which are being innovated to utilize various kinds of fuels and their combinations. Another way is to use biotechnological methods to reduce the lignin content which would avoid the pretreatment processing. Overall, the biofuels hold great promise for future along with other renewable energies. Bamboo-based bioethanol is sustainable due to their fast growth. Considering the efforts made by government in the form of supporting schemes, companies in Hyderabad and Assam are setting up their biorefinery plants for bioethanol production with various capacities. If you like the information, do share it with others. Comment below what do you think about the promises of bioethanol. Check out my playlist on various interesting topics. Thanks and see you in my next video.